63-year-old Moscow resident Mikhail Simonov was sentenced to seven years in prison in the case of fakes. The reason for his persecution was two posts on the social network. The man wrote, killing children and women, we sing songs on Channel 1. We, Russia, have become atheists. Forgive us, Lord. And Russian pilots are bombing children. Simonov published these posts in March 2022. In November he was detained, since then he has been in jail. I have always believed and still believe that human life is an unconditional value that should become a priority, although in our country they do not think so. And that's how I was raised. Mikhail Simonov accused of spreading fakes in the last statement at the court hearing. Oleg Belousov, a resident of St. Petersburg, was sentenced to five and a half years in a penal colony because of statements in social networks a man with disability was charged with two articles about military fakes and calls for extremism. The investigation made false consultations based on the phases taken out of context. By some miracle my phrase got into the case. I have an interest in Ukraine to come to visit and not to bomb cities and kill people. Where is the hatred and amnity? Oleg Belousov accused of spreading fakes in the last statement at the court hearing. The former mayor of Yekaterinburg, Evgeny Roisman, was arrested under an article on extremist symbols. He spent 14 days in a special detention center because of a post with a video that featured the logo of the Navalny Foundation. He told journalists who met the prisoner at the gates of the special detention center that every person who was born in Russia should be mentally prepared to go to jail. Thank you all for your support. I'm glad to see you all. And yet, in the end, everything will be fine. Artist Leonid Chorny is accused of vandalism motivated by political and ideological hatred. According to investigators, he wrote anti-war and insulting inscriptions against the president of Russia on the building and the grocery kiosk. The court is due to announce the verdict on April 3rd. As an artist, in each of my works I appealed to conscience and humanity, and today I have not changed my position. A blogger from Kazan, Parvina Abuzarova, became a defendant in a criminal case on public calls to carry out activities directed against the security of the state. The person involved in the criminal case is suspected of using social networks to carry out public calls for the desertion of Russian servicemen participating in a special military operation in Ukraine. In St. Petersburg, the photographer and author of Chronicles of Political History, Valentin Nikitchenko, was inspected at home as part of an administrative case on discrediting the army of the Russian Federation. All the equipment was confiscated from the man, as well as two photo albums with his photographs. His last works are devoted to the processes of anti-war cases. I didn't like it. Then Putin. Here is a list of his names, as they call him on the internet. I have everything listed separately by commas. Not only its own citizens, but also foreigners are taken into custody in Russia. On March 30, the Lefortovsky court of Moscow arrested Ivan Gershkovich, a journalist for the Wall Street Journal, until May 29, on charge of espionage, despite the fact that he has official accreditation in Russia. The Federal Security Service accused the American of collecting information constituting a state secret. I was not allowed to the process, although I should have been. Appealed to the Office of Criminal Cases. They said they didn't have the material. They really do that trick repeatedly. But I am convinced that my client could only engage in legal activities. According to the independent human rights media project over the info, in the coming week alone, 58 political criminal courts will be held in Russia. In total, since February 24, 2022, 19,644 people have been detained at protests against war and mobilization in Russia. Reported by Sergei Kulas, Natalia Husak, UATV News.